today we're going to look at how to use the import feed formula in Google Sheets to import a RSS or Atom feed into Google Sheets. So we have a sample feed URL from news.google. And so let's go ahead and open up our formula and check out how this looks. So you can always click on the question mark to see Google's little pop-up for formula help. So you can see the first thing we need is our URL. And so if you have the URL in a different cell, you can simply click on that, close the formula, and pull in the data as easy as that. One thing to note is you can put this URL directly into the formula. Let's go ahead and grab that, put it in here, put it in double or single quotes. And now you can see if we delete this, it's still showing up. Just for the sake of a short formula, let's go ahead and just leave the cell reference there. And let's go on to our different criteria. So query, if you go to learn more, tells you a little more about the query and tells you the different things you request. So for example, if we put feed, it simply returns data about that feed they're getting. So top stories, Google News, it's from Google News, the title's Google News, and there's the link. Otherwise, the default is items, and that returns the feed that we originally got. You can also narrow down and only request certain items. And if you look here, you can see that we have three different things. Let's go ahead and actually return the headers next. So by default, it's false. If we hit true, it's now gonna return title, author, URL, and summary. So on this items, we can return any of these things. So we can do title, and now we're just getting back the title. We can do URL, just return the URL. Now, if you notice, we do summary. We're not getting anything because the summary was empty if you call from our item feed like this. All right, so that's almost it. The last thing we have here is to limit the number of items. So we can do five, for example, we do 10 and so forth, or we can leave it blank simply return all the ones that it has. So that's the quick rundown on import feed. Thank you very much and tune back again soon for more tutorials.